Welcome to the Pat Mayo Experience presented by DraftKings. A quickie today, 2021 BMW Championship picks, final betting card, DraftKings ownership, and the conclusion of both the Race to the Mayo Cup one and done and the three-man between myself, Jeff Feinberg, and Tim Cust for our one and done because that could come down right to the wire. Cust is not dead technically as of yet. He just needs a lot to break right for him. want to remind you to smash the button for the episode. And who are you betting this week? If it's one guy, two guys, maybe someone over in Europe because I got one of those too because I tuned in to the European Tour Picks and Bet Show on Mayo Media Network and listened to Tom, listened to Sky, and guess what? I'm betting Guido. Of course I am because, you know, Sky's on the show, Guido. He made like a correlation. I was like, good enough for Pat. I'm in. And my betting card is pretty thin this week, so hey, might as well throw on Guido, maybe play a double or two, and I guess we should start with that right now. After you subscribe to Mayo Media Network, Listener's League link is full. That means the week one DraftKings Listener's League will be the next Listener's League in two Two weeks time for NFL we'll have 16 or 17 and then we'll be back for the tournament of champions for the listeners league for golf once again please support all of that tune into the football shows download the podcast we got some awesome stuff coming up for you, you want to generate your lineups quickly fantasynational.com slash mayo gets you that 20 percent discount just like that and if you want to do as much research for football as you do for golf i've created a stats and tool site with justin freeman run the sims.com run the sims.com slash mayo will get you a discount and if you don't like the site you can cancel before seven days and get all your money back to you i suggest you go give it a test drive right now simulations and optimizer and advanced stats out where you can do play play level data research if you want to dig that deep if you're a real crazy person you can go do that over at run the sims.com subscribe to the newsletter too because i'll wrap up the entire week and include some giveaways and promos we got a jeff feinberg prism giveaway going on next week uh and tuesday will be the golf show for the tour championship because uh, me cussed and jeffrey are getting together for the first of the win total shows on monday i'm super excited for that we haven't recorded it yet but that will be coming pretty soon let's talk bets for the bmw championship i got three guys uh, i got bryson at 28 to 1 like everyone else in the world right now i say he's down to 20 to 1 in some spots i'd probably still take the 20 to 1 i'm saddened that i couldn't access DraftKings sportsbook to grab that 35 that they hung on the opening line i was like oh god that's such a good number and that's most definitely going down uh so i got him at 28 when it opened on the one that i can actually have access to up here in canada that's going to be changing very soon though and hopefully DraftKings sportsbook will be available where i am very soon so i can just start doing that makes things much easier for me rory mcelroy 28 to 1 a fazio design course and i just keep betting rory anyway it's listen there's nothing that's really pointing to Rory winning this week outside the fact that he's Rory and he's just catch the falling star just hope to go like this and hopefully you get right and he's someone who's usually in that 18 to 1 especially in the small field range this is one of the deepest highest odds in terms of 28 to 1 that I've seen from Rory in quite a long time obviously it is a stacked field but he still has the skill set to get this done so 28 to 1 on Rory McIlroy and I saw Daniel Berger is now 35 to 1, maybe 40, depending on where you look. But I tweeted this out early on Monday morning that there was a 50 lingering around. So I bet the 50 to 1 on Daniel Berger. The approach continues to be amongst the elite players on the planet, even in terms of the recent form. The putting has been a disaster the last two times out, which is really atypical for Daniel Berger right now. And then... The driving, like he's hitting fairways, that's good, but that's about all he's doing. And the chipping has been like hit or miss. So I need his putter to flip. I need the approaches to stay where they are. And I need like a slightly good week around the greens and driving. Like those aren't the two best parts of his game. They just can't sink him at the same time. Irons and putting. I think this course is going to play easy unless I have completely misread the rough. Uh, I just like the, that that deep of a number on that quality of a player in this small of a field of only 69 players with no cut. Um, is he going to win? Probably. Probably not, but I just like that number up there, and hopefully he can come through for me. That would be great. Guido over on the European Tour, and don't think that I didn't double all double the three PGA guys along with Guido over there. So if like Guido and Berger win, I am in the money. I have I can lose it all during football season. I'd still be up money if both those guys win this week. So that would be fantastic news. I got 
Jeff to Jeff after I hedged out of my fee now bet last week. Although it was a very nice payday, obviously. Not as much as Jeff posted or some of you posted because I got my odds cut in half, basically. I think it paid out 28 to 1 when all was said and done. But hey, had enough money on it that still it was a very nice payday for myself out there. And hopefully we can roll this forward, build some momentum before I lose all my money on like betting you know, the Steelers plus money against the Bills in week one and they lose by 45 points or something like that. Big few days on the show. Pete Overzet, Jake Seeley, Jeff, Joe Holka, Cust, and Davis are all a part of the next four shows on Mayo Media Network and the Pat Mayo Experience feed. And if you do want to tune in to get in on some action for uh, like DraftKings slate for the preseason in week three, prize picks for week three, fantasy football picks and bets is covering all of that stuff. I am away this weekend, so I'll just be listening to it via podcast version and probably throwing in DraftKings lineups that way and making my prize picks. It has been printing money on prize picks so far in this preseason. Cody Main over at Establish the Run, who I've been doing the show with, uh, he's got one over under wrong and I couldn't even play at that time because I found out that you couldn't play two guys from the same team so I just took the under on Haskins in week one and I still won anyway so prize picks account is doing well and that's probably something that you want to do right now we are working on creating both a season long preseason tournament that goes all season long in terms of player props over at prizepicks.com and then a weekly props competition akin to like the super contest but it will be for props uh, and there'll just be prizes to be given away and the way that you would have to get into it now this isn't official yet but this is what I'm working working on is you'll have to deposit at prizepicks.com even fucking deposit 20 bucks or something like that uh using the link in the description right now or code mmn and if you do deposit 20 bucks you'll get 40 bucks so i'm like you know you're playing way more than that every week anyway, and this gets you like a free ticket into that thing, theoretically, if it ends up coming through. I do have some prize picks actually right now for golf. Let's jump on over to prize picks, and there's different ways that you can play this in terms of what you want to do. Like you can play single round, birdies are better. I think I would just take the over on all of the birdies here uh, because that's the way I think this course leans, but uh, it is the final finishing place. I've been off and on with these ones. I had a bad week last week because Berger really let me down. Might go back to the well, though and see what we're up to so you have to play at least two of them and you get over under finishing position in this spot once again use the link in the description in order to deposit at prize picks and use code mmn you'll get a match up to 100 bucks really help us out if you do this and i think that some of these are pretty soft to tell you the truth not as soft as uh, the nfl preseason ones and some of the nfl like season long totals you'll have to wait a while for them to cash but they seem to be pretty good and this works out perfectly for people who like can't bet in the state that they're in prize picks probably available in your state and this is a good way to throw some like essentially parlays together in this regard i like bryson this week i like rory this week and i like burger this week where's burger burger yeah let's see do how greedy do i want to get here i got 287 bucks in the account right now maybe i'll go full press on this one so we go under under i mean these are both guys i bet to win so if i bet 50 and wager 50 in this entry it would pay out 100 on the flex but if i do the power play it plays 150 what if i do that with burger thrown in too? go with the under on burger and just go under 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 so the power play you know, i get five times all right why don't we make like a five five way one and that will be fun and see if we can get them all right so the guys i like the least this week are spieth and dj it's not that I like severely dislike them. It's just I don't think that they're playing super great right now. I've already, this is actually the second attempt at this because the video cutouts, I've already made the entry. Rory, Bryson, Berger will go five way, we'll go power play. So, no, I don't want to flex play. Oh, no, because I have to take the overs and the unders. So, we'll go over on Speeth, over on DJ, under Rory, under Bryson, and under on Berger. I guess yeah, I have five. Five right pays 10. What if I take one off here? What if I take off burger? What does it do then? Power play. Oh, no, no, now I only need to get four right for my 10x. Yeah, I'm going to play this one too then. So 20 pays 200 on this one with overs uh, on finishing position. 16 and a half, 16 and a half for Spieth and Dustin. Under 18 and a half, 18 and a half for Rory and Bryson. 20 pays 200. Let's do it. So once again, um, in the description of the video, you can use our link, uh, which you know, would really help out Mayo Media Network, by the way, and it could get you into this theoretical super contest of props that we're doing with prize picks over on fantasy football picks or bets use code mmn to get that match deposit up to 100 dollars as well talk about DraftKings ownership for the week i think it's setting up to be the three highest owned guys like by far and by far is probably going to be like somewhere in the 20s it's only a 69 man field you got rom 
Bryson and Rory. That's where people are gravitating towards this week. And it's not surprising. Uh, you can put, you can play Rory and Bryson together in lineups and it doesn't look all that bad whatsoever. And Rom is just annihilating the entire world right now. Even like he had a bad week last week. He was leading through 70 holes and came third. He's, it's tough to build. I like, as Ben and I went through on the DraftKings show, it's really tough to build lineups with John Rom this week, but I still think that people are just going to do it because you probably need Rom because he's probably going to win. And then if you don't have the winner, you're not going to win. So you have to get the rest of your lineup right. So those are the big three. I think that Cantley is going to have a ton of ownership. Casey, maybe Connors at the same time. Hudson Swafford is trending back down from what we saw. I still think that he cracks double digits, though. Anyone who runs a stat model is going to see that he pops this week and he's six thousand dollars so i would expect one of the some of the most common pairs that you're going to see are rom and swafford uh together because that saves a bunch of money or rory bryson together or rory bryson swafford and then you can go back up the board too to that casey range if you really wanted to so taylor gooch looks like he's pretty popular from down below munoz and keith mitchell are two of some of the other popular options chuck hoffman and johnny vegas in the low sevens are going to garner a bunch of ownership and then you have like Casey and Connors, like I said, the guys that no one's really using from the top. It seems like Spieth is going to come in with by far the lowest of all of the elite players. I can get behind that. You want to game theory the shit out of this? Use Spieth this week. You can use Spieth, Xander, DJ. The one I'm using is Morikawa because he's the cheapest and I just feel like no one is going to use him. And when I went and looked back at his stats on the DraftKings pick show with Raza that, you know, his round one was a disaster. That's when it came out that he had the back injury, but his round two was fine. He just couldn't putt. He lost three strokes putting in round two. Like the ball, the driving, fine. The irons, fine. So if that just continues forward and he doesn't lose three strokes putting, you're going to get like any time that people are off of Morikawa, that's generally the time to play Morikawa. His win rate is almost unmatched of anyone on the PGA Tour, and you're going to get a one of the most elite players who is the eighth most expensive player right now when he should be like the third or fourth, who probably, I think he has the most wins over the past two years of any player, and you're going to get him in single-digit ownership in a 69-person field. Now, maybe he sucks, and he's going to burn you, but I think that's the spot that you want to take. So I've gone, I did play a lot of Bryson Berger Rory lineups, but I also filtered in, so I have those guys in around, I think it's 55 or 60% of my 20 lineups. And I have Morikawa in 45% of my lineup. So those four guys are really going to make, make or break my week on DraftKings right now. The other, like the low owned guys that I use, I use Leishman. I used Harmon. Just no one is using any of them. People want to just that middle, basically from Norin through Harmon outside of Cameron champ, everyone is going to be in the single digit. So if you have a good lean in the set mid sevens from like 77 through 72, and you can really like pick and choose who you want, like Vegas really realistically and champ are the only two that are really spiking in terms of ownership in that range. If you have a good lean, that's probably where this, where GPPs are going to be won this week. You find the right guy from there. No one has them. You have them. You pick right. And you're going to vault your way. Of course you need the other combinations to be right too, but that's the way that uh, I would try to be playing it this week. I've had to gamble on a couple guys in that range just because I know there's no ownership there. And I hope that I get lucky with it. And I hope it's Brian Harmon, put it that way. One and done for the week uh, i didn't give out my pick on the show on monday because i didn't want to scan through and just sit here for like 40 minutes and be like did i use that guy or not did i use that guy or not and i actually added up what the totals were too so i am currently winning the three man one and done with feinberg and cust uh, i have 5.15 million dollars in earnings jeff has 5.00 million dollars in earnings and cust has 3.70 million million dollars so he's way behind however it is 1.7 to the winner this week. And he has Brooks Kepka. So if Kepka wins and our guys suck, Cust is probably going to win the one and done. I feel like that's more of an unlikely scenario. Jeff and I are only separated by $150,000 in total earnings. And there's no cut, so everyone's getting a paycheck this week. He took Scheffler, and after I scrolled through all of my guys that I used this year... I hadn't used Justin Thomas yet, so he is the best elite player that I have left. He's coming off a really good week. I didn't bet him. I'm not using him on DraftKings. 
But there's no way that I'm going to be like, you know who I should take? Gooch, when I can have Justin Thomas. It's the last term of the year. I'm only playing against two other people. So realistically, this comes down to, unless Brooks wins, this comes down to a head-to-head versus Justin Thomas and Scotty Scheffler. And I like my odds in that one, to tell you the truth. It doesn't mean it's a lock by any means. But if you're going to hang a line on Thomas versus Scheffler, just based off their odds, he's probably like a minus 135 favorite. Um, so that's the way that we're shaping up. I mean, it's not for a ton of money. It's for 100 bucks each. But it's just funny to see the culmination of all of this on the show. I hope you guys are enjoying the race for the Mayo Cup. That's not going to come back until the Sony Open next year for the big one. But I do think Fantasy Fan Golf Champ uh, com is going to re- release one starting in the swing season as well. I might play in it. Uh, they're going to be super small contests, but that's just something you can uh, be on the lookout for. I don't have confirmation. A lot of stuff in flux right now, as it turns out. Just so many meetings and emails, and I'm like, just tell me when it's live, and like we'll be good to go. But I don't want to. I don't want it to be live one day before the season, then we can't promote it. So I do want to let you behind the curtain a little bit about what we're working on, so you can anticipate all of that stuff. Newsletter tonight. Uh, the cheat sheets up on DK Nation. The art article the shows with Feinberg Raza the research show that's all out right now this is the last full week of golf that I'm doing there's no research show next week uh we might even do DraftKings picks next week as a part of the show we're just gonna jam it all into one it's a fucking 30 person field it's a horrible DraftKings event it's a horrible betting event it's fun to watch because I like East Lake and I like to see who's gonna win 15 million bucks but for for our purposes it's just not the most fun to play or bet on maybe we'll get on with uh tom and sky and see if they got some euro stuff for us to check out next week that might be the more fun part of all of this but you know it's not like i'm not gonna have bets i'm gonna be betting on the tour championship but that's where we stand right now smash like on the way out give me the winner and sign up to prize picks use code mmn and our link in the description right now because again that will severely help out this program uh and this network so we can bring you more shows more of the stuff you want so like helping out our sponsors and that sort of thing uh just you know like i said it's like 20 bucks you get 40 bucks uh if you have the means to do it please go do it and help out the network right now that's how you can help us out and you know you could be there's it could be this pool going on, but like when I acquired Fantasy Golf Degenerates and lease that out from Tambo and Kenny, like it's because of the support from guys like you who sign up for Fantasy National and sign up for RunTheSims.com. Because of doing that, like one of the big things that I wanted to do with this network was anything that the network made, I mean, that we would just reinvest. That's why we have more shows. We have more hosts and we can afford to pay them and bring them over so we can provide better content for you guys. So we're just always reinvesting all this money into the network uh, to make sure that you guys feel fulfilled of what you want to see. Uh, and you guys can always reach out to me, the Pat Mayo experience at gmail.com or on Twitter or wherever it's at. Like if there's certain programming that you want to see, just let me know. I mean, it doesn't mean I'm going to do it, but it does allow us a bit more flexibility when like we're not going to the hole right away on everything. So keep that in mind. All right. I'm Pat Mayo. Good luck this week. I'll see you next time. Pat Mayo Experience.